welcome to understanding biopsychosocial model and body shaming presentation we'll start with a friendly reminder that the content shared on this platform is for educational and references purpose only and not a medical advice should you wish to seek medical advice and guidance please get in touch with a qualified medical practitioner and professional our today's presentation flow will have the following the meaning and definition of biopsychosocial model the dimension of biopsychosocial model association of biopsychosocial model and mental health and finally we'll talk about the association of biopsychosocial model and body shaming meaning definition a quick intro about the bps the biopsychosocial model was proposed by george elengi in 1977 as paper titled the need for a new medical model biomedicine challenge it is presented as an alternate to the prevalent model of those times which was biomedicine model the biomedicine model emphasizes that manifestation of illness is typically due to biological factors on contrary engel in his paper emphasized that manifestation of illness or upkeepment of wellness is a complex interplay between biological psychological and social dimensions dimensions the biological model emphasizes the interdependence of biological psychological and social factors in shaping individuals overall health well-being the model mutually influences each other creating a complex of determinants therefore any comprehensive analysis of health and well-being must consider all these factors dimension of biopsychosocial model this is the representation of interaction of biopsychosocial model biological factors psychological factors social social factors interaction of all these together form your health wellness illness or manifestation of illness so amalgamation of all these factors put together is the biopsychosocial model we now inter- independently look what each dimension encompasses biological dimension this dimension include genetic biochemical and physiological factors that can influence an individual's health example predisposition to certain illnesses hormonal imbalance and immune system functioning psychological dimension this dimension refers to an individual's thought emotions and behavior and how they influence their health example could include stress coping mechanism mental health and its effect on individuals helping social dimension the social dimension acknowledges the importance of social and environmental factors on health and well-being these factors could include society social relationships social support network socio economic status and cultural factors on individual's health it is important to note that any dimension could interact with any other dimension at any point of time so there is no fixed inception point saying that only at the onset of biological dimension it could move to psychological then it could move to social any dimension could interact with any dimension it's a bidirection model for example social dimension could directly interact with biological and both together can interact psychologically and so it can have a two way street it could interact with each other at any point of time association of biopsychosocial model and mental health mental health is culmination of factors including biological psychological social and put together is your mental health and well being the pps model is good fit for understanding the intricacies because it again emphasizes all the models and it is not the reason i'm saying it's good fit because i am working on biopsychosocial model and mental health in regard to body shaming context but generally it's a good model because it it looks at different lenses different perspective and gives it a lens on each perspective so the reason uh, it is good fit is that it is a comprehensive approach it do to life treatment enhance prevention strategies reducing stigma and creating interdisciplinary collaboration 
all these are self explanatory slides so i will not get into line by line details association of biopsychosocial model and body shape will try and categorize into four models that is how bps is connected to body shaming how it could help in assessing prevalence how it could help in coping and what bps model suggest as coping strategies how bps is connected to body shaming biological factors genetic epigenetic hormonal imbalance and neurobiological mechanism contribute to body dissatisfaction and vulnerability to body shaming example metabolic disorders could have psychological impact psychological impact and biological impact that is metabolic disorder could directly have impact on social dimension all these put together could have adverse effect on your overall health so psychological factors cognitive disorientation maladaptive schemas emotional dysregulation play significant role in shaping body image perceptions and makes and vulnerable to body shaming social factors societal beauty standards social media and interpersonal relationships profoundly influence body shaming behavior and attitudes this is most important factors the model emphasizes the need to address issues taking into consideration all these factors put together in maintenance and in reducing the manifestation of body image disturbance and body shaming how it could help in assessing prevalence again it provides a comprehensive assessment tools identifying at risk populations long term studies again it's self explanatory so i would go line by line how it could help in coping it assists in providing a personalized intervention it gives way for a multi model approach and it it addresses the issue by looking at various perspective hence it gives a prevention and early intervention strategies the coping strategies suggested by bps model biological intervention it could it could include hormonal therapies psychological intervention includes cbt social intervention includes building social support group forming support group public health campaigns and policy initiatives promoting body positivity media literacy and challenging societal beauty standards to public health campaigns education programs and policy initiatives thank you for more such articles and videos please visit sayogi.com you will also listen to it on a podcast on your favorite streaming apps